Now for our feature story of the day, Bitcoin will outperform the other assets many times over due to this one factor, according to the Strike CEO, Jack Maulers. In fact, he was recently interviewed and he's doubling down on his prediction. The Bitcoin hits between a quarter million and a million dollars. I'll be sharing his timeline and break down the latest from the Strike uh, CEO. So here we freaking go. As you can see in the headline, right here. And there's a brand new article as well. The CEO of Bitcoin Wallet and Payments Application Strike. How many of you have used Strike or are currently using it? Let me know. Believes that Bitcoin could massively outperform all other assets for one key reason. In a new interview with Peter McCormick on the What Bitcoin Did pod, Jack Muller says, a loosening monetary policy plus Bitcoin's finite supply could make it a top performing asset this market cycle. Damn straight. Quoting him here, is this the cycle where central banks try and price fix the bond market? If it is, the quantity of the money printing is astronomical. You are going to get two, three, four, five COVIDs worth of printing. And I think it is going to send assets astronomically high. Gold, real estate, equities. And then Bitcoin is the only truly fixed asset we have ever had. And so Bitcoin will outperform everything in orders of magnitude. Very bold prediction, and I agree 100%. Mahler's also doubles down on his prediction that Bitcoin will increase by at least 329% of this cycle's current value. Quoting him here, I've been on record saying I think Bitcoin is going to $250,000 to $1 million. It is solely predicated on we are likely to see the greatest asset bull market in the history of the bull markets. Why? Because central banks have progress progressively price fix everything. Whenever something breaks, they don't let the business cycle complete. They don't let anything fail. They don't allow for the pain. He makes a great point there. Let me know if you agree or disagree with his quarter mil to 1 million price projection for this cycle. I personally think spot on. JV's personal projection or prediction for the cycle, I think in 2025, we hit somewhere between 222,000 as a bear scenario, which is close to his target here. And I think we can potentially even hit as high as 750,000. One million, I don't think is the most probable scenario, but I'm also open to the possibility. Why? Bitcoin has no top. Why? Fiat has no bottom. Money printer continue to go and it is what it is. And to watch this actual interview that Jack Mahler's did on the What the Bitcoin Did pod with Peter McCormick, check the show notes below the vid in the description. And let me know if you agree or disagree with uh, the Strike CEO. Can you see that happening? Are you bullish? Yay, nay? Holla at your boy. And welcome everyone to the Q&A segment of the live stream. Andrew Tate has about 200,000 in Pulse Chain Farms. Some of them can earn almost 1% daily. Yeah, I don't even know what that means, but I know he has hundreds of millions in Bitcoin. That I do know. And I know he's uh, promoting something called Daddy. Those are the only two I'm aware of. Uh, the, they are one-eyed. What are the one-eyed? I love Jack Mahler. Smart man. Yeah, very smart man. Uh, obviously, Bitcoin whale, genius, entrepreneur. Shout out to Jack Mahler's 5750 cycle peak. 2025, unless the banks crash, it could hit a milli or above. Good point. And I read, I think last week on the podcast, there's 90 plus banks on the brink of insolvency, right? 90 plus. Could you imagine? And when the house of cards fall, it falls fast. Everything come tumbling down. Kind of like Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. Humpty is fiat. You can't put it back together ever again. Just saying. That just came to my mind, by the way. I just made that up. The printer goes purr. Exactly. You might have a Bitcoin write off. 222 G's. I like Jack, but Jack is a Chicago boy whose father worked with the CBOE. I remember when CME opened their Bitcoin futures desk, Bitcoin December 2017 took Bitcoin two years for the price to recover. Are we not speaking about Brazil? Oh, we did speak about Brazil. Did you miss that, Diana? We, we did discuss uh, X versus Brazil right now. I think we all know what's going on. They're censoring free speech and the X platform. Sad, and uh, we need a victory for free speech because if we let Brazil win, other countries will follow in their footsteps. I think that's a given. 
XRP community XRPL says Russ the off the hackathon teams Nero sends you all the best vibes for a successful innovative competition shout out Rusty OTF what's the poppin what's the crack of lack and what's good 90 failing there you go Neil banks down again that's right I've been saying that for at least six months JV there are four big banks that are teetering on the edge of insolvency yeah so there you go not looking good for the bankers yes a win for the Bitcoiners we got winning in our DNA Jack Mahler's father is a genius as he pushed him into the biddy after he failed his school career. Well, shout out to Jack Mahler's papa. Banking and housing market collapse is also one of my bingo card squares. Sounds like Fax is going to have a bingo this year. Bingo. <laughs> Lack of free spokens. What does that mean? Do you mean tokens? I'm sorry. It's all good. No need to apologize. Just tell me what you mean and I'll fix it. So I don't know what that means. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the live stream. We've got 1,200 people here live and in the flesh. This is the Q&A segment of the live show. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's content. For the next hour, we're just going to be kicking it, uh, doing Q&A. This is the live and interactive, so I encourage you to visit the YouTube channel directly where you see the chat feed at so you can interact. It's uh, Crypto News Alerts. Dot net. How is everyone on this lovely Saturday? Sat stack and Saturday doing fantastic. How you guys doing? Well, 16% of the DNA. I got winning in my DNA. We Bitcoiners. All we do is win, 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 no matter what. Perfect money on my mind. I'm going to never give it up. <laughs> we doing good. How you guys doing today? Let me know. Don't be shy. It's a it's celebration. A celebration. You feel me? Lack of free speech, JV. He was talking about the Brazil. Lack of free speech. Yeah, so the only reason countries or governments censor speech, so you don't know the truth. It's never because it's, the, because it's too dangerous. That's what they told me in China in 2010. Actually, I did a post on my X account earlier. I'll show it to you. I actually have a, a photo Climb the, I climbed the Great Wall. It was actually one of the more difficult things I've ever done. But it was cool because you take the toboggan, which is a sled down the Great Wall. That was one of the coolest experiences. But going up, man, I was sore. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. But anyways, I know I did a post here. But I just reposted a ton of people, so it take me a minute to find. So yeah, yeah, I wrote this post. That's a picture of me in China. I climbed the Great Wall. Yeah, that was me in 2010. But here's what I wrote. I lived in China. Back in 2010, I lived there for 13 months. I think like January, February 2011, I moved back to Florida. Okay, and I used the VPN to access all the major social media sites, which were banned. So yeah, true story. In China, back in 2010, every major social media platform was banned, and they had their own Chinese version of it. So instead of YouTube, YouTube was banned. Instead, they had Youku. And if you typed in YouTube.com, it just wouldn't pop up, unless you used the VPN. That was the loophole. So every social media every major social media. There was nothing. So you had the Chinese version of everything. So if you wanted to use the regular American version, you couldn't unless you used the VPN. So I put F censorship and especially the corrupt governments around the world censoring free speech. Censorship only exists because they don't want you to know the truth. But want to know what they tell you? Here's what they told all the kids in China and all the people. The internet is too dangerous. Facebook is too dangerous. YouTube is too dangerous. We're protecting you. And because we're protecting you, you're not allowed to use it. Well, that's a bunch of bullshit. They're not protecting you. They're protecting you from knowing the truth so they can control you. That's just the sad, honest truth. 